All right, guys, here is my deep carry holster setup. So uh, this is two holsters combined. Um, the first part of this is the smart carry. So I went on the website, told them my waist size, and told them what gun that I'm going to be carrying. So I had this holster made for this LCR-22. Uh, and this is what they shipped me. But they didn't ship me you see the little bolt here, and you see the Kydex insert there? That did not come with this product. Smart Carry does not do the Kydex work. The Kydex work, so I have this already taken apart. Normally there's a nut in there inside of that holster where this bolt is actually bolted to so that it cannot come out, but um, I'll take that out. Inside of here is a Kydex shell. This Kydex shell, is the DeSantis Slim Tuck. You can go on Amazon, you can order these in Prime, and they're 20 bucks shipped. So that's why I went this route, because all I care about is this Kydex shell. It covers the trigger, and it has a suitable mounting point for uh, what I'm using as a chassis. Not a holster, but I'm using it as a chassis for a holster. So uh, those two together work great. Now. Is this, is this smart carry holster suitable without this Kydex shell? Uh, well, for, for this gun, for this gun, long double action trigger, it, it's a 12, it's more than 12 pounds in the trigger, probably, it's probably fine. But without the shell, I have had this holster hang up on the cylinder because the fabric pulls over it and, it and it makes the draw really rough. Also, it's really hard to reholster. You have to, as soon as you pull the gun out of this and there is tension, it closes. So holster collapse is a real thing. Now you put a Kydex shell in there and you use one of the bolts that comes with the DeSantis Slim Tuck and, and uh, pop that through then all of a sudden you have a system that is really easy to get in and out of the holster. And when you have this bolted, um, it holds the gun really well. Now, do, do you need it to hold the gun super well when it's inside your waistband below your belt line? Probably not, but that's why I like this setup. It just so happens that this holster, so the smart carry, uh, made for my waist and made for the LCR. Just so happens that it also works with the SIG P365XL. Now you can see that I've got another Kydex shell on there. That is also a DeSantis Slim Tuck, just made for the P365. And the normal, I'll say the normal, the way that this this ships, no, the 365XL will not fit in there. You just take your blow dryer, or your heat gun if you are actually a dude, and you hit this end and then wait till, because thermal plastic does its thing, right? It softens up right at the end, and then you insert the gun, um, unloaded, right? Don't be stupid. Insert the gun in there, and uh, it'll take that shape of the XL, so giving you that little bit extra length uh, room for that extra length on the slide, it works. So I can stick this in there and use the same hole. See this little tiny hole that I cut there? It's just on one side, not all the way through. I can use that hole to go through and all that's happening is that bolt goes through the shell and pinches it to the holster. Cool, it's pretty simple. And it's not going anywhere. Um, so why do I like this holster setup and why am I in this more or as often, I guess, in the warmer months than the uh, standard appendix belt mounted holsters? Um, the big part is mobility. And a uh, secondary reason is concealment. Um, so talk about mobility first. The, so for the LCR-22, 
I really like this holster. This is the Filster City Special. Um, <clears throat> and I've done the Discrete Carry Concepts clip with that. This holster is phenomenally comfortable. It is. It's still not as comfortable as Deep Carry. Uh, and it's, and I'll say only when I'm doing like some extra, some activity that requires me to be in a deep squat all day long. So if I'm gardening, like I am, I don't sit down and I don't kneel. I'll just, I'll just be in my little rice patty, rice patty prone all day long. In that deep squat, with the belt right here and this, uh, this above the belt, right? All this above the belt. Every time I squat, this rolls into my gut and it just applies pressure there all day. And it also messes up my hip mobility. And that's not this holster. That's every single above the belt holster does that for me. So, um, but when I go below the belt, deep carry holsters, uh, something like this setup, boom, instantly resolved, and I can sit in those deep squats all day long. I can I can do squats in the gym in these holsters, um, and it's fine. It's it's just fine. I go jogging all the time uh, with either of these guns. They work. I will say that the more jogging, the more bouncing around you're doing, the more that it favors a lighter gun. But uh, it it's still totally doable with either. So that's, there's the mobility point. It's just like absolute comfort and you're still able to get to a gun. The <clears throat> concealment point. So summer months coming up, probably not a concern this year, right? Because 2020 is the year of probably not going outside worth of shit for this summer. But uh, for a normal summer, and barbecues and volleyball and throwing the frisbee in the quad and all the bro shit that you do outside um, in your skimpy bro clothes, I can wear this holster. I can have 13 plus one in nine millimeter with an optic, and this does work with an optic, um, below my belt in some, in some board shorts, and nobody knows. Even if I have my shirt off, nobody knows. That's nice. It's just nice to have that ability. So uh, with me dressing like um, a skimpy shirtless bro most of the time when it's warm outside, whether that's backyard work or barbecue stuff, this is why I gravitate towards a below the belt holster. With my shirt off and board shorts on or like shorts or jeans with a belt on, I can still manage two second draws all day long when it's below the belt. With a shirt on, add, add about a quarter second, maybe, to clear that shirt and clear the belt. It's just a slightly more complex maneuver. Um, but I can always get that, I can always get that draw done, first click, first shot off in two and a quarter seconds. So um, still fairly fast. In just the pants, if we're gonna talk about like best runs or ideal runs, if I'm all squared off and ready to draw, yeah, I can stick a sub one, uh, so 1.5 seconds or faster when I'm like perfect setup standing just right. That's fast, guys. Uh, it's a fast holster, it just, it's a different draw, so you have to practice that different draw technique with it. But I like this setup for the summer months and for lightweight guns and for exercise and doing actual manual labor with a gun on. So yeah, that's this is the setup, this is how it's run. Um, the hardware, all of the hardware I'm using, so the nut that I'm using to capture that bolt is actually a piece in there. Uh, these two plastic pieces, I've kept on this shell and I've not kept them on this shell. It doesn't matter, guys. Uh, but the bolt goes through the front of the fabric of the holster and captures the nut inside the holster. It just takes a minute or two to undo that bolt and flip out the whole shells of the holster there. Um, I'm really happy with it. So hopefully that answers your questions. as a really long video for something that I thought was going to be like 60 seconds.